Welcome back gamers. Justin here with you again and uh, it is time for developer log number five. I believe it's five. Hopefully it's five. Uh, if not five or six, but uh, you get the point. It'll be in the title. Um, so the without further ado today, I'm going to jump into the game because I have a lot to cover and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes. So the, the first thing uh, here in the game now, the, the first thing is we do have uh, some weapons modeled. Um, and there's there's kind of a quick view. I'll kind of, uh, as I'm talking here, I'll zoom in on these so you can get some details. My favorite's the flare gun. We have some really cool things, I think, planned for that. I think you guys are going to like that, but uh, we'll see. So, uh, you know, as I'm talking here, I'll kind of give you details of these. I'm not going to go over all of them in complete detail. Uh, you can infer what they are, and if not, uh, in future videos, we will cover each of these individually. Um, but uh, the thing to point out is that uh, we have the weapon and then the, the ammo, uh, a sample bullet next to them. Um, so you can kind of see, you know, what those look like. And then at the end here, I'll show you all of the, the bullets directly. Uh, but uh, we will do individual videos on this. We'll go over, uh, you know, what each of them are, uh, how we anticipate them behaving, how they work, uh, that type of stuff. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll be able to kind of demo it and show it off here, uh, here soon. Uh, and then we'll get over to the ammo there. So, uh, you know, the, the initially the plan is with the, the ammo, we do want to have a, a whole variety of ammo types, um, each of them obviously doing different damages and stuff, but we also want the gun to come into place. So the longer the barrel, the more uh, muzzle velocity it'll have, the more damage it'll do downrange, uh, the less fall off it may have over time, like that type of stuff. So we're, we're going to put a lot of effort into uh, the ballistics modeling to make sure that it's uh, as accurate as we can make it. Um, you know, we don't just want laser beams. We don't want, uh, you know, as, as a bullet slows down over time, a drag takes place. Uh, it shouldn't do as much damage because it's obviously slower, um, you know, and that type of stuff. So uh, up to a point where it just kind of, uh, you know, does no damage. So, you know, over time, it, uh, it will gradually fall off and, uh, and do its thing. So the, uh, the next thing that I want to show you, though, is uh, we, we've, you might notice that the map looks completely different. And that was 100% uh, on purpose, right? So... The, uh, the, what we've done is we, initially our vision for this was to have a flat landscape, a flat terrain. We started playing around with ways to introduce uh, heights and vertical, uh, vertical overviews uh, to the map. I, I term it verticality. I, I, I'm not even sure if that's a word, but verticality to the map, right? It's like we want you to be able to, to get high on the map and be able to look down and, and have those, uh, those sniping opportunities and kind of long range views at a risk. That's, that's kind of the key. So we, uh, we've decided that we're going to go back to that model. So we, we've once again, kind of flattened the terrain out and, and we do have variations to it right now. This is very flat. Uh, but, uh, when we get over to the park, I'll go show you that again, uh, because we, we have redone that as well, but, uh, we, you know, we wanted to, to kind of keep it flat, but then use buildings and such to, uh, to introduce various heights and whatnot, uh, verticality. So that's, that's what we started doing here. Now, these are by no means in their final location. This, uh, we, we were playing around with these models. We put them in place. They're not modeled internally. Uh, so if you look in here, you know, it's, it's basically just an empty building. Uh, but uh, you will be able to enter into all of these buildings. Uh, you will be able to make your way all the way to the top of these buildings. Um, and let me get up here and show you this, this uh, little, uh, little area that uh, is scoped out here. If I can get unstuck. There we go. Um... But uh, maybe, there we go. I, uh, we, we need to expand some of this. So you can see we're obviously developing on this. But uh, you know, basically the, the goal is that uh, on all of these buildings we'll have external fire escapes so that you'll be able to make your way to the top via fire escape. Um, or you can enter the building and work your way to the top as well. Um, now every floor may not be fully detailed. Um, you know, it may be kind of blocked off or something like that, but uh, there will be quite a bit of looting inside of each of these buildings that, uh, that will be available for you. So let me uh, let me kind of come around here. I'll give you you know views of the other sides here. The uh, the idea is though is that this area here will be like an apartment complex of sorts, like a, a high rise apartment complex. Um, in the middle, we'll probably put like a like a little foyer or not a foyer, but uh, like a little parkway type thing inside. You know, a nice little area like community grounds type thing for for all of these apartments. Um, but, uh, you know, again, just understand that the inside isn't modeled on these. Uh, the buildings will most likely move around uh, because uh, we don't know what the final layout will be here yet. So we're, we're going to kind of continue playing with that. The next thing is, uh, so we're, we're going to start introducing these checkpoints uh, throughout the map. So, uh, is, you know, as we go through this, uh, you'll see many more of these kind of pop up. 
Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the idea with these being is that they were kind of choke points into specific areas. So obviously you can get around this one right now, but we do plan to, to kind of make that a little bit more difficult to do as well. So, uh, you know, the, the idea is, though, is that uh, we want to kind of funnel down in spots, but then also open up in spots. So once you make it through, you know, you have the, the entire park available to you. So the, the next thing that I want to talk about here, since we've made our way to the park, uh, so we, Sunshine Estates is a northeastern United States map. It's not a specific city, just northeast, like, a, you know, kind of that region of the United States. Um, so it's not being modeled after a specific city or anything like that. But uh, as such, we wanted to make sure that the foliage and the trees and the birds and uh, even the animals that will eventually be introduced into this are appropriate to that part of the United States. Uh, so we've gone through, we've swapped out all of these trees now. So these are spruce trees. Uh, and we've also got a couple of oak trees and stuff over here kind of in the distance that we'll get to when we get over to the warehouse. But, uh, you know, basically the we wanted to make sure that it was appropriate to the region that we're developing the map for. Uh, so we did take the opportunity. We went through, we redesigned and kind of relayed out this uh, this particular uh, area of the zone. Uh, still the same general concept. So it was used as, you know, kind of a staging area, medical tents all over the place. Uh, there will be food, weapons, uh, medical, like that kind of stuff in this this region. Uh, but uh, we did change the, the way it was laid out completely. Um, and then we, we did also focus, you know, a lot more on making sure that, that the grass and the flowers and stuff like that are all things that you can actually find in the northern, northeastern United States. The, uh, the one other thing, you can see that we've got some variation in the terrain here. If I can get unstuck there off of the, uh, the tents. So the, you know, I mentioned that we want you to be able to get up on these, uh, these apartments over here and all the way to the top. The one thing that we do want to make sure of, though, is that height doesn't give you a full advantage all the time. In some situations, it should. But uh, when you're up here, we don't want you to be able to see clear across the, the park, you know. So you can see as I'm closer to this and the, the trees thin out a little bit, they, they have a pretty good sight line on me. So I could easily get sniped from there. But if I move further into the park, I'm going to move over here a little bit and uh, turn around you can see that now all of a sudden the the trees start to to do their job so one of the things that we really wanted to do is we we've kind of stripped the foliage down low uh on these trees so you'll notice the trees down low you have very good sight lines they they still provide cover so if i want to get here and, and use these trees to uh to kind of you know hide advantage or something like that we could do that but uh, ultimately these trees should provide protection from long range uh sniping so that's kind of the goal with this and, and where our head's at when it comes to, uh, to verticality. You know, we, we want the verticality to be there on the map, but we don't necessarily want it to give you 100% advantage all the time. So we're, uh, we're going to try and introduce these, uh, these types of, uh, you know, just kind of natural obstructions to prevent you from getting sniped, you know, from 300 meters away or something like that. The, uh, the last little area that I want to show you here, we did go through and we did redo the, the warehouse a little bit. Um, specifically the parking lot. So we, we've kind of shrunk it down a little bit. Uh, in the, the previous iterations of this, the warehouse was almost double this size. And uh, we just didn't really like that. It took up a ton of space on the map. Uh, the parking lot was absolutely massive. Uh, so we, we've kind of shrunk that down quite a bit and, uh, and made it much smaller. And same with the, the internal uh, components of the warehouse here. So as I come up on this tank, and you can actually get up on this. So if you go from the front, I don't think you can get there from the back. So if you go from the front, you can you can get up on it, but uh, from the back, not so much. So as I move into the warehouse here, we uh, we do need to make some changes to this, and it's important to note too that I have shadows turned off on the warehouse right now. It, it's a much darker atmosphere when you're in here. Uh, so the but I have it turned off because I want you to be able to see some of the details here. So uh, we do need to make some changes uh, to this though because uh, it, once you get into an aisle over here, you can't get out of the aisle. You can crouch and go under. But uh, you're basically committed to that lane. And I'll, I'll kind of illustrate that here. So if, if I came in and I headed down this, you can see I have, you know, wall to wall aisles, basically, or, or you know, shelving. The, we want you to be able to, to come in, and, but then if you need to, you should be able to, to kind of recommit and, and get your way, you know, get out of this. Um, so, you know, we, you can crouch and go under them. But, uh, you know, ultimately, I think we're, we're going to kind of free that up a little bit. 
uh, to where you're not just fully committed to that. You know, if you make it down an aisle and that was a bad choice, we want to give you escape routes to, to be able to get out of that. Um, we're also going to add a lot more clutter. So, you know, we, we've got a bunch of these boxes and stuff. Uh, the food stores and whatnot. Uh, there are some uh, some areas over here where there's wood. Um, you know, so uh, we're, we're trying to make this still a, you know, we've got some ammo crates and stuff here as well. Uh, but uh, ultimately, the warehouse is going to be one of those highly contested areas. And uh, we want it to be that way. Uh, so we're, we're going to make this very loot heavy. We're going to give you a lot of options here to, uh, to be able to loot this stuff. Um, and a lot of different loot options inside of the warehouse. Um, and you can see that we redid some of the outside as well. You know, we added a couple of cars here, uh, you know, that type of stuff. So, you know, this is, uh, we're going to add a whole lot more of this kind of clutter and garbage and stuff around. Uh, but, uh, you know, ultimately we want, you know, we just kind of wanted to, to make the one, make the warehouse smaller, uh, but still keep its, its centricity to the map. Right. So we wanted it to be one of these highly contested areas. And I, I think that we'll be able to achieve that. So the last thing here, I'm going to kind of run around here and let you sh let you see a little bit more of the map. But uh, the, the last thing and why I'm a little bit late with this developer log this week, uh, I've been working so hard to get the Steam Store uh, page up and running. And I wanted to, to give you the link to that in this video. Steam is very picky, though, as they should be. It's it's a good thing. I I'm, I sound bitter, but I'm not. It, it has been a process to, to get this approved uh, with the uh, the Steam store. But, um, you know, we, we had to do a lot of back and forth, a lot of, uh, you know, making sure that our graphic work lined up, that our screenshots were the right dimensions, that our descriptions made sense, that uh, the early access program made sense, you know, that type of stuff. So a lot of back and forth with Steam. Um, and it was good because it's, you know, they're, they're making sure that, uh, that it remains a good, you know, wholesome environment for everybody. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I'm still a day or two away from that. And I didn't want to wait any longer with the uh, the developer log. So it's, uh, you get this. Uh, hopefully, you know, in the next day or two on social media, I'll be able to share the link. Uh, when that happens, I would love it if you guys would please, please, please go wish list on Steam. Um, as soon as I have the link, I'll share that out. But, uh, you know, we, the, the more wish listed it is, it's kind of one of those, it's like the YouTube, YouTube algorithm, if I could say that properly. Uh, the, you know, the more wish listing it gets, the more, uh, you know, the, the higher profile and higher visibility the game will be in the, the search results and that type of stuff. So the, uh, that, that's kind of the goal. I, you know, we, as soon as I get that out, I, I, which I am hoping today, I think we have fulfilled all of the requirements. We're just kind of waiting on their final review at this point. Uh, and, uh, once they, they review it, they'll publish it for us and, uh, it'll be a coming soon page that, uh, that you can start to wish list and we'll start to use the steam forums and community and, and that type of stuff, uh, a whole lot more interactively to, uh, you know, to, to kind of drive excitement for the game. So that's why it's a little late though. I was hoping to have that done to where I could unveil the, the link and just be glorious and epic, but, uh, I didn't get it done. The too much back and forth with steam, you know, like I said, it's a good thing, but, uh, I just, uh, it's not ready to go yet. So when it is, I, uh, I will certainly share that. I would definitely appreciate it if everybody would go wish list it, uh, tell your friends, all of that good stuff. But, uh, with all of that, that's basically what I had for you this week. Uh, the, the good news is that uh, we are 100% on schedule for this sprint, and we're actually making progress into next sprint already. So we're uh, we're probably going to add some more stuff into next sprint to uh, to fill it out because it's uh, we've made really good progress, uh, you know, towards our milestones and our goals. Um, so I, I think that we're on track here. Uh, next sprint, we're probably going to start to add in some stuff like shooting weapons. I uh, you know actually demoing how to loot items. Uh, and building in those types of interactions uh, along with the, the server uh, server mechanisms. So with all of that said, though, thank you so much for sticking around. Please head over to Patreon if you're interested in supporting this project. Uh, you can definitely become a, a Patreon supporter. Even a dollar a month is hugely helpful to us at this point. You know, everything right now is coming out of pocket, which we're happy to do. The, the game will continue to progress. Uh, but uh, the more support we get, the more features we can add, the more people we can bring on staff to kind of help with the development and expand the feature sets and stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, and we'll keep 100 percent log of that. So you see where the money's going, how we're spending it, how we're using it, uh, you know, and try to give you as much transparency as absolutely possible. If you're not able to be a Patreon supporter, 100 percent understand, you know, go check out our merch, maybe just pick up a T-shirt or a hoodie or something. Uh, all of that helps us as well. And 100 percent of that revenue goes back into the, the game as well. 
Um, so, uh, you know, any way that you can support us, we greatly pre appreciate it. If nothing else, you don't have any money and that's, that's a hundred percent understandable. Uh, come join us on discord. You know, we've got a, a kind of a small, but growing discord community, uh, trying to build out some of the features there, get a boosted, that type of stuff to, uh, to make it a good environment, uh, where you can interact directly with us and the development team. Uh, so hit us up on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, uh, you know, throw a like to the video, throw a comment down below. All of that kind of helps us out to, to gain visibility and traction. So appreciate your time today. Thanks, everybody. I will see you uh, probably on Monday for the sprint planning video. Have a great week. Thanks.